Hey lovely ladies, gorgeous gents, and crazy kids. Today I wanted to make a hopefully quick video before I go out and do my daily jog. And it is about the idea of being big and beautiful and how my perspective has changed over time. This isn't being made to offend anyone or bring negativity into anyone else's life, but I know I have a perspective that a lot of people can relate to and learn from. So basically, I feel like everyone needs to ask themselves are you truly feeling big and beautiful? And are you feeling big, beautiful, and happy? Coming my, from my perspective and where I've come along this journey, I can honestly say at the start, when I was at my heaviest that I've ever been in my life, I was not happy. And although I was trying to embrace the idea of accepting yourself and being big and beautiful, I did not feel beautiful. I was not accepting that like I was accepting of it because that I didn't see anything better for myself. I didn't see myself more fit. I didn't see myself smaller. I didn't see myself healthier. So I was accepting the state that I was in, but I wasn't happy with it. And I wasn't comfortable with the person I was and just I wasn't all that big and beautiful as is is pushed to be, you know. I wasn't I was trying to embrace the idea of it, but I knew it wasn't for me because I wasn't happy when I was trying to force myself to believe that. And don't get me wrong, I know that a lot of people genuinely feel that they are big and beautiful. And I am not knocking that because I feel like as human beings, we're all beautiful in our own way. And if you can accept the person that you are and embrace that and show the world that you love that person genuinely, that's great. But I know it's a lot of people that are just like me in the same place where they're trying to take on that whole idea of being big and beautiful when they're, they're not happy with it. They know that deep down that's not them or that's not who they want to be. That's not what they want to accept. That's not what they want their reality to be. And I don't think that's there's anything wrong with that. And I don't think that that's not loving yourself because I think that we mistake that for not loving ourselves and truthfully I don't think that that's not loving yourself I I feel that you can still love yourself I just feel like wanting more for yourself is just just wanting to love yourself in different ways and wanting to love yourself better and in the case of being healthier that's wanting to love yourself properly because we're given these beautiful bodies that in over time, we just end up destroying with all the fast food and the junk food and the grease and, and all of our unfit ways, like not going to the gym or even being lazy when we're out walking. We don't get any type of real physical activity. The, those things that we do to destroy what beauty we were given naturally, that's what I feel like isn't loving yourself properly and people might have their own opinion for, on that but at this point in my life from what I've learned from this whole process in my life that wasn't loving myself properly and I see nothing wrong with being it to admit which admit to yourself there's no reason for me to be trying to accept something that I'm clearly not comfortable with and clearly that's something that's not for me granted you might still have curves and everything, just like I have curves. You might not want the curves, and at the end of the day, you might have to, over time, accept the fact that those curves are going to be there, you know? You might, in the end, have to accept certain things. But I don't feel like, especially at the point that I was at the age of, what, 20, 21, and I'm at my heaviest ever, and I'm continuing to grow, that's not something I need to be accepting and say that, oh, this is life. I'm a curvier girl, this is how I'm going to be. That That's not something I need to be accepting. And a lot of you are young, and even people older than me, you don't have to just accept something that you don't feel is for you, or you don't, it, really, you don't have to accept anything. Like, you should always aim to be better in every aspect, so skip accepting that, shoot. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, we should all try to reach a happy point with ourselves and comfort with ourselves, but if it's clearly not there with the situation you're in it needs to change and there's nothing wrong with saying that you need that change so with that said I just really want to encourage you all to think about how you feel about being big and beautiful and are you big beautiful and happy are you feeling that way about yourself I'm not saying everybody needs to be small or skinny or aim to lose weight because that's not even my focus my focus is to be the healthiest me I can be. I'm just encouraging you all to aim to be the best you that you can be as I always do and if you don't feel like you're at the place where you should be 
with this whole big and beautiful thing, there's nothing wrong with wanting more than that, with wanting to be healthier, with wanting to get in shape, with wanting to eat better. And you shouldn't let any doubts or depression or whatever stop you because you can be better if you see it for yourself. And even if you don't see it, just go in blindly and try your hardest until it becomes a reality for you, you know? So that's all I wanted to say, present my perspective on the whole big and beautiful thing and something I think that all of us need to ask ourselves. Regardless, I always feel that you are still all lovely ladies, gorgeous gents, and crazy kids. I'm not judging any of you based off your size or anything. We're all human at the end of the day. I just want you all to be the best you you can be and be comfortable with the person that you are and if you're feeling discomfort yeah we all need to accept ourselves but we also need to make sure we're loving ourselves properly and doing what we can to get to a happier place so with that said i'm gonna go hit the neighborhood and do my jog and i will see you lovely ladies gorgeous gents, and crazy kids later candy loves you Mwah.